G'day everybody, Ed here, and I wanted to show you a few more tips and tricks and techniques with friend feed, which just goes to show you uh, how useful it will become. Remember I said in the previous video that I see uh, friend feed becoming this huge database of people's interactions on the web. And the thing that they've very cleverly done is giving you many, many ways to interact with that database and then alert you to things that are relevant to you. And this is really cool. It has some huge significance when it comes to Google and SEO rankings. If you wonder what I just said then, don't even worry about it. Don't panic. I just want to show you some cool uses which will help you filter and manage and use it really, really effectively in some really cool ways. Okay, so the first one I wanted to uh, show you here was here in the friends feed, uh, which is the friend feed, friends feed, which is basically everybody in your friend. It's sort of like a, a, a big live stream. So you can see there, there's um, a bunch of, uh, bunch of people there. I've just been distracted by uh, Nez supposedly linking a Market Samurai video, which will be interesting. I wonder what that Market Samurai stuff is. I have no idea. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was, uh, first of all, there's a number of filters up here, which are really cool. Uh, there's a 30 day challenge Arabic room. How good is that? You can see here the best of the day, the the ones that have shown the uh, uh, been the most interest. And I find that really interesting. And of course, anytime you do a filter on friend feed, wherever it is, you can actually grab the RSS feed for it and be able to grab. So if you want to see what the best of the day from your friend's feed is, which is based on the number of people who have commented or liked it. Um, I'm very hesitant to, to click on <laughs> this link and see what it does. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call the Rickrolled. Although in 30-day uh, challenge terms, it's being called Kernrolled. <laughs> uh, very funny, Nez. So I'm going to like that. Um, very, very cool. Um, so you can have... Uh, a whole bunch of interesting things, which is, I think, a fantastic way to do uh, filter that. You can see there's, there was a very interesting conversation on, you know, who made good money on the last 30-day challenge, what's the most useful gadget that you have, well, these type of things. It also filters for the best of the week, and you can see stuff that's been um, popular over the course of the week, and it's very cool to see some 30-day challenge stuff in there as well. And remember, and I love this, and one of the cool things, I think, and why a web interface works really well with friend feed, I know that there are, um, Twirl, for example, allows you to import friend feed. I have a problem with actually using Twirl for friend feed because it keeps, anytime you add a comment or anything, you might notice that it bumps you up and it, dis, it disjoints and jars the whole experience. It's not what it's about. Friend feed really is designed to be used on the internet, I think, and to be used at a time that suits you or to create very cool searches which will allow you to filter those feeds into your Google Reader and then read them at the appropriate time. Because you can drop videos in. This was a classic yesterday. Um, and so you can look, but notice how I don't get taken out. I'm just gonna pause that. Notice how I don't get taken out of my flow of reading this friend feed and that's really, really important. Oh, look, there's me getting my iPhone. Isn't that lovely? And, of course, there's a monthly feed as well, which is very, very interesting. Oh, look at that. Rank a couple of different ones there. Fantastic. Now, if you're looking at you as an individual, there's some really, I think, very interesting ways to slice and dice the information to follow you. For example, and again, remember when you're seeing me do this stuff on me, I want you to start thinking about how you can take this stuff and use it in trout fishing, in wedding planning, in any niche topic that you might want to take and get on your small business, for example, for the 30 day challenge. So for example, it's very helpful for me to look at 
this is everything that I've put in. Very helpful for me to see anything that I've put up that has been commented on. That's very cool. And of course, and remember this, you can go straight up, you can click and get the feed of my comments and so stuff that's only been commented on which is very 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 useful you can also see stuff that I've liked which is also I think a really good, cool thing and of course again you can grab another feed of that which is just fantastic then of course we have this search field and this is really really helpful so you might notice you've seen me do a lot of things where I've in Twitter for example I've tagged things with this little hash mark and you can see here 30 day 30 DC and I can click on search and this will go right across friend feed regardless of whether I'm following people or not and deliver everything that has happened in terms of people who have used that hash 30 day challenge hash mark and then have fed that information into friend feed if you start to see how Renfeed becomes this huge bucket of which all these pipes, YouTube, Flickr, um, Twitter, uh, Amazon favorite books or your Amazon wish list, everything gets fed into this big database bucket. And what's so exciting about Renfeed is the ways, and we'll show you this in the 30 day challenge, you can then slice and dice and mix this bucket to deliver data that's really, really useful to your client base and has great search engine value which bottom line means that you'll get traffic for your small business or traffic for your niche product plus you're able to build sites which are just fantastic places and I love the friend feed rooms for example where if I go into say the 30 day challenge room and this is a place where 30 day challenges are able to comment on anything that is delivered into this room and of course, you can literally grab this share something and drag it up here to your flock bar and you can see that it's now highlighted. So anytime, and you can see there that yellow box, anytime you want something to be shared inside this room, wherever you happen to be on the net that you think would be interesting to other 30 day challenges, boom, click the button and it will flow through here onto the 30 day challenge, which is a brilliant way of doing things. So all of a sudden it becomes this, the database is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then it's becoming more and more and more powerful to search. Um, now what's that share something, just remind myself, ah so I've already got that so let me just, so if you want to drag that off you just literally actually or do you delete it, um, delete and you just delete it. Okay so let's think of another term at random, you know. I don't know and let's look at the search functionality so you can see that any time that somebody has mentioned that in the particular room you can see the search there is room for the 30-day challenge because it automatically limits your search into that room at the moment um, then you can check that out of course if I went to the everyone actually I did not do that term but if I put 30-day challenge oops I don't know if I can spell properly search check this out all of these oh look at these a lot of these are old 30-day challenges somebody's put up from YouTube how about that how cool is that and of course I can who everyone 30-day challenge so I can do a search and create another feed which so anytime anybody mentions 30-day challenge anywhere and they've been on the friend feed and they're importing that stuff in the friend feed database I get it which is just really really cool let's try I've never, I haven't tried this let's try uh, trout fishing look at all this stuff trout fishing bookmarks from delicious trout fishing tweets a great story about the art of trout fishing on dig and you can see this pages and pages of this stuff are you starting to see how powerful this could be for your business so as a as a data exercise it's brilliant. as more and more people use friend feed more and more information is going to be fed into that that's why it's becoming a very clever holder of information you can also and this is really cool 
use the advanced search. So we can start looking at, okay, I want to see trout fishing that has only, uh, let's try YouTube. I don't know if this will work or not. And we'll search everyone. But of course I can do from my friends or from one person. And I can click advanced search. Unfortunately, yeah, it was a bit esoteric. So I wonder if I do 30 day challenge. Search. Bam, anybody who's put a YouTube video, and you can see this a lot, that will automatically come up. How cool is that? So you can filter by service and so on, which is just fantastic. And so these advanced searches, and they're available at every level, at your personal level, at the room level, which is great for the 30 day challenge. For example, in the room level, you might want to create something. Now, I've got slightly different controls to you because I'm an administrator, but you have the ability to um, like, you can hide links, you can filter and say, I don't want to see people's Twitter stuff here in friend feed. Um, but you know, you can play around and you can customize and then save that search and then you have access to it. It's really brilliant. Come 30 day challenge time, we're gonna show you how cool this is. As I look, I wanna really encourage you again to create a room for your team. Because how good would it be to find stuff that you think is interesting and then to be able to just hit that share something link because every room has its own share something link and to be able to alert all your teammates instantly. And it also is one stop shop. So say you're working during the day during the 30 day challenge, you've got a specific hour to do your 30 day challenge stuff in. Rather than being bombarded all the time from all of this stuff, you can get your friends information just boom in the one spot with friend feed and I think that is really really cool all right so have fun with that have fun a bit playing around with that and we will speak to you real soon